This is Lesson 20, the website for a purpose for the Code.org web design unit. This will be the last lesson. Uh, because we're virtual, we're not going to be doing this and creating a brand new website with a team of individuals like we would if we were at school. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our original homepage that we created uh, and we're going to add additional pages to it. So we're going to, instead of going to Lesson 20, what you could do is you could copy all your code uh, from your uh, website in lesson 13 and paste it here and copy your CSS and paste it here and re-upload all your images or anything that you've done. Um, but I'm gonna suggest against that. Rather, we're gonna go back to lesson 13. And Again, you'll actually have your web page here, your personal project that you built, and we finished on that home page. And you can now add your uh, new HTML pages. Come over here like we showed you in the previous videos and rename it, you know, page two or whatever your topic is to help you to stay organized. If you're not creating CSSs all by themselves, or not styling it all the same, you might want a new CSS page, you know, page two CSS, uh, or you may be linking them all together. So you're going to add your different, uh, your multiple pages for your uh, web page here, and you're going to go according to that plan that we've already talked about in class or, or two videos ago. You're going to put that plan into action now to create your page two, page three or so on for your websites. Uh, as I showed you in the demo ones from the other students, this can be as in-depth if you like to or how much time that you have, uh, or if you're struggling, maybe just taking it and limiting it to a two-page website. Uh, but we should be using those anchor tags, those classes that we've learned since we completed this, and expand on it. I will be doing a video next on how to do some more advanced CSS maybe creating yourself, giving yourself a toolbar or importing a video or embedding a video and things of that. So uh, if you're looking to really try to make your website look a little bit more professional, uh, please join for the tips and tricks videos.